Okay, so when Jimmy broke it to Jessica that he was no longer gonna be with her and that he was in love with someone else, I was happy that he was forthright. I was like, Jimmy has such a great character. What made me laugh, and y'all already know, what made me laugh was as I... <laughs> when she said, when you realize what you missed out on, you are gonna choke. I agree, because... Jessica, oh, she's a beautiful woman. And I, I'm 100% sure she was his speed. She already knew who his other girlfriend was and was trying to throw shade. She ain't no diva. <laughs> That's what she said. She ain't no diva. You are going to need an EpiPen to open up your airways because you are going to be in disbelief of what you missed out on. Thank you for the experience, Jimmy. This girl said you're gonna need an EpiPen when you realize who you lost. And was that a superficial comment? Yes, I'm with you. It was so superficial. However, the accuracy, I'm gonna say is on point and I look forward to the episode when they meet up. I really, I really look forward to the episode. Let's just get to it, cause y'all messy. Let's just get to it. Jimmy and Chelsea's reveal was so uncomfortable. Body language, camera angles, facial expressions, conversation, everything marked all the boxes under uncomfortable. Every single thing. The way the camera caught him staring off like, you gotta be kidding me. Y'all let this happen? Whose ass I gotta beat? His body language was screaming, like, you are not my type and you are not Megan. Chelsea had the nerve to ask, am I what you were expecting? What do you, Chelsea, what do you think? What do you, what do you think? What do you think, Chelsea? You answer the question. Cause you're playing all these games. You, st you step up and play a game. It wasn't right. It wasn't right. It wasn't right. And when he said that, Sharon said, she definitely lied to me. <laughs> I'm happy that he said it because we're all thinking it. We're all saying it. We're all screaming it at the TV. Him saying it was necessary. I could work with that. Who wants to hear your man saying that when somebody asks you about, you know, how you look or what does he think about your features? I, I could work with that. And now the whole, the whole entire world is gonna be comparing you to Megan Fox and stating how you don't look like Megan Fox. And you did this, why did you do this? We were fine watching you sit in a pod, listening to the voice of a stranger who you've never seen and deciding to marry them. We were okay with that. That was extreme, but we accepted it. But where we draw the line, where we draw the line, is when you wanna act delusional, play mind games, and think we're gonna let it fly. We're not doing it. When it comes to things that are delusion, we keep it right here. We're not going any higher. And that's all I'm gonna say about this. That's it. Her insecurities are running rampant now. They're running rampant. But it's like, she keeps playing these games. She keeps playing these mind games where it's like, girl, he already knows you lied. You know you lied. Why are you bringing more attention to the lie? Are you new at lying? Cause that's really the main thing you don't do. Asking him, what did you notice about me? What did I notice about you? And they lay in each other's face and he says, you have big teeth. What kind of compliment was that, Jimmy? They're big and they're nice, what? So we get to see all the couples, so everyone's out and it's, you know, I, I like this part because everybody gets to see who they were speaking to. They get to match all these different voices with faces. Damn it, Jimmy! Jimmy couldn't hold it together. He was so mesmerized. Now, now granted, let's be honest, AD got a bod. Okay, AD got, AD got a body. Not a, not B-O-D-Y, she has a B-A-W-D-Y. She got a body, okay? That booty has been mesmerized and he can't get a grip. He can't get a grip on life right now. And the cameraman, that cameraman catching Jimmy like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He's getting caught every time. My gosh, Jimmy, pull it together. When he was talking to AD, that key, Jimmy came alive. I haven't seen his eyes get that big. His face was just bright. Like, like he just loved life. Everything was working out now for him. And he did twirl her around. He, he, he gave a little, little spinny spin spin. Have you lost your mind? Have you lost your mind? Have you lost your mind, Jimothy? Jimothy, 
You tripping. You tripping. I feel, sick. I feel sick. No, honey, you feel embarrassed. And as you should, because the way he was acting was very embarrassing. Very embarrassing. Like I said, not taking anything away from AD. Beautiful woman. But if my man don't act right, if he don't stand up, okay? Because you doing this in front of me? What you gonna do if I'm if I'm if I'm gone? What? You, I, you can't even hold it together right next to me? Shameful. Shameful, shameful, shameful. I feel sick. No, baby, that's embarrassment. And now you wanna puke. <laughs> That was, it was just, that was just so messy. It was so messy. And of course, Jimmy doesn't stop there. Cause why would he? Why, why stop there? Why stop there? Jimmy proceeds to say to his wife to be, AD man, she's stacked. <laughs> and here come Chelsea. Cause remember she, she, she's, she's so great at being a mastermind. She's so great at mental gymnastics, right? She's so great at it. That she pretends to be like, yeah, she is. Yeah, she is. You knew you was, you knew you was bothered already right then. So she has this brilliant idea. She has this, she has this brilliant idea. Hey everybody, let me get your attention. Watch this. Hey AD. My husband says you're stacked trying to embarrass him like oh you want oh you think she's stacked well let me let her know you think she's stacked but it didn't work how you thought it didn't work how you thought it was gonna work out that was a crazy move because everybody else was thinking it but it wasn't saying it your man thought it said it to you you should have either checked him or zipped it because he tried to kind of you know make a joke out of it and, and, and almost like embarrassed like oh you want you want everybody to know now they know and you felt crazy afterwards of course you felt crazy afterwards so now you're looking even sadder i promise her lips are like like naturally they kind of have a like a, a a sad arch but by the time she finished making that jokey joke that didn't go over she was like it was whole i was sad to see it was sad to see watching jimmy's face light up was insane did y'all y'all can't forget that there's cameras there because there's there's a whole set of cameramen around you. Like I get I get be as natural as can be, but damn it, not that natural. Hold hold yourself together. This is airing in a few months. Hold yourself together. I felt a kind of way when AD asked, you know, Kenneth, you know, do you typically date white women? He was like, no, it's my first time. And she was just real pessimistic. Like y'all are, all of you are on a dating show where you just were dating all of each other. You're engaged now to a stranger, but you want to have this heart to heart with him. Have you, have you dated white women before? I, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. It was real pessimistic on a show where y'all all crazy for doing this anyhow, in general. So now all of a sudden there's, there's a line you just, you should be cautious about crossing. You didn't think that big of a deal about interracial dating or marriage when you was trying to talk to Matthew because you were well aware that Matthew was Caucasian. And it, it kind of checks off the box where um, sometimes women are okay with them dating outside of the race, but when their man does, it's a... I mean, she's gonna have black children. She's gonna be a mother of, of black children. And there's think, okay, cause you, you, you would have been doing the same thing, raising your biracial children with Matthew, should you have had any. So I was like, girl, be for real. Like, keep your own feelings on that topic to yourself. Don't be putting that on Kenneth's heart, okay? Worry about your mans. I didn't like that, AD. I didn't like it at all. So it kind of like fades with the, you know, the different conversations and the cameraman just keep going back to Jimmy, just trying, Jimmy trying to dip in chocolate city. He's like, break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. <laughs> Jimmy's like, hey, hey, AD, did you snicker? <laughs> He's in the zone and the cameraman did not disappoint. He made sure he caught every single glance interaction and it was embarrassing for Chelsea or any woman to have to be in that situation. But the previews were delicioso. The previews were delicioso. 
I am so looking forward to watching what happens on Wednesday. When I heard Chelsea talking about some, you, you slept with her. I was like, mm. I couldn't find that in your Apple Music library. You can ask me to play a radio station or. S shut up. Okay. I was hooked. I was like, oh, y'all really trying to get us back because y'all knew season five was trash. Y'all trying to get us back. Okay. So talk to me in the comment section. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. Let me know what do you agree with me on? What do you disagree with me on? Free convo space. That's that's what we have in here, okay? Be respectful because all, all this is TV, okay? I don't know gremlins coming out talking crazy. I'm just going to block you, but let's not even go there. So let's be respectful and tell me what you think. And if you've enjoyed this video so far, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and um, subscribe to my channel. I have a variety of things on this channel, whether it be reviews, comedy, um, serious stuff. Like I have a blend here. Like there's going to be a playlist for someone somewhere, I feel. And y'all know what I say. Don't feed the gremlins after 12 and don't wet them up with no attention, okay? All right, it's Devlin Dealey, y'all. Bye.